PCBs have long been recognized as a posing threat to the environment because of their toxicity, persistence and tendency to bioaccumulate. After the ratification of the Stockholm Convention on POPs and development of the first national implementation plan for POPs reduction and elimination, the Republic of Macedonia has undertaken serious steps for implementation of the tasks given in the POPs action plan. In the most extensive national action for POPs management was elimination of PCBs through the realization of the project phasing out of PCBs and PCB-containing equipment. The project was financially supported by the Global Environmental Facility, the Swiss government represented by the Swiss Cooperation Office in Macedonia and the company Rade Konchar Service and implemented by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization and the Ministry of Environment and Physical Planning. To se odnesuva na unapreduvanje na vremeniot sklad vo Rade Končar vo nov modern pogon kada što se vgradeni site standardi za bezbednost, a tretmanot na transformatorite kontaminirani so pihabija se sprovedova so sofisticirana oprema bazirana na najdobri dostapni tehniki. Planirano je so novata tehnologija okolo 150 toni na transformatori so PHB da bidat demontirani i transportirani do vremenski odklad kada ponatamu će bidat adekvatno tretirani. Po dekontaminacijata odreden broj na jedinici ke se vratat vo povtornu potreba, a drug del ke bide recikliran. The main objective of the project is to assist the Republic of Macedonia to comply with the PCB-related obligations under the Stockholm Convention and reduce the releases of PCBs into the environment through enhanced national capacity in the management of PCBs containing equipment and wastes. Electricity rules our everyday lives. Reliable power supplies have always depended on transformers. At one time, transformers were filled with PCBs as cooling and insulating fluid. Only when people became aware of the toxic and environmentally harmful effects of the PCBs were they banned. Numerous transformers are still filled with PCBs. In order to treat and temporarily store the PCB-containing transformers and waste, within Rade Contra Service, a state-of-the-art facility that meets the highest safety standards was built. The floor is covered with impermeable layer, preventing oil from penetrating, ventilation system on active carbon, fire alarming system, fire extinguishing system, video monitoring and fresh air inlet. And sophisticated technology was installed for treatment of PCB contaminated transformers, which is in compliance with best available techniques. A monitoring system, including monitoring of the environment parameters, air, water and soil, for eventual PCB presence as a result of the operation of the installation, has been established. For servicing and maintenance of the electrical transformers, it also meets the highest standards of clean and safe working environment. It is also a real example of how joint effort of government, international organizations and a private sector can work together and how they can make a difference towards sustainable de uh, development and particularly for environmental management issues. So we believe that this example and that uh, is this real example that we have today will set also the precedent for other countries in the region so that that can be replicated in the countries in the region. Ova aktivnost može da bide od regionalen benefit. Republika Makedonija kako zemlja koja prva vo region od postavi linija za tretman na polihlornite bifenili je podgotvena svojite iskustva da gi podeli i so sosedite. Ajde vidovte denes ka deka otvarame regionalen ekološki centar koja je prv na Balkanu. I ovaj će biti naša donacija, odnosno naše predvidovanje za jednite pokolenija. Description of the technology. The treatment of the transformers at Rade Contour Service facility is performed in a stationary installation using the CDP process. This process is developed and owned by C-Marconi Technologies for the decontamination of transformers and other equipment containing mineral insulating oil contaminated by PCBs through the chemical dehalogenation. The electrical equipment subjected to the CDB technology is suitable for reuse or recycling of metallic materials and oil. The decontamination process includes two main techniques. 
dechlorination of PCBs containing mineral oil, decontamination of metal surfaces and active parts. It includes the following phases. Separation of transformers depending on the contamination. Depending on the contamination, the transformers are separated in different groups, high, low and medium contaminants. Oil draining or emptying. The insulating oil containing PCB is drained from the transformers using the draining pump and stored in plastic containers. The draining activities have to be performed at maximum level in order to minimize oil amount left in the carcasses. Sealing and gasket monitoring. Repair. Sealing and gaskets are monitored. If the equipment is not suitable for filling and hot oil circulation under pressure, it should be sealed before entering the fluxing platform. Washing with new oil, dehalogenated oil or low contaminated oil. The transformer's carcasses to be washed must be filled with new oil dehalogenated oil or low contaminated oil, preferably hot at 70 degrees Celsius. Dehalogenation reaction. PCBs containing mineral oil is pumped by a hydraulic pump from the containers within a steel reactor, where it's heated at 100 to 110 degrees Celsius, stirred and mixed with a chemical reagent. Depending on the initial PCB concentration, the reaction could last for several hours. Process monitoring. The successfulness of the treatment is monitored by measuring the total chlorine content of the oil using Dexel L2000 analyzer. Decanting or settling. When the chemical declaration has taken place, the mixture of oil, spent reagent and byproducts is delivered to the settling tanks for the gravity segregation of the reagent. At the end of the separation, the oil is pumped through a filtration stage and delivered to a storage tank, while the spent reagent and byproducts are properly packed, labeled, and temporarily stored until final disposal. Filtration. Filtration of suspended and polar compounds from the oil takes place in the filtering unit throughout continuous circulation and percolation under pressure in columns filled with active clays. Fluxing. The cleaned oil is transferred to the fluxing platform where the transformer's carcasses are flushed through continuous circulation and fluxing with hot mineral oil, which enables maximum extraction of the PCB residues from the porous parts. PCB analysis. Once extracted from the decontamination circuit, each equipment is sampled and PCB analysis is performed on the oil. PCB analysis on surfaces and porous material is performed with the aim to establish a correlation with PCB concentration in the oil. The use of chemical dehalogenation of PCBs prevents the replacement and elimination of insulating liquids and equipment classified as PCBs and therefore increases the lifetime of the equipment and consequently decreases the replacement cost for purchasing a new one. With the construction of the temporary storage and with the installation of the PCB treatment technology, the national capacities in PCB management are strengthened, the cycle of environmentally sound PCB management is completed, and as a result, the negative effects caused by PCBs on human health and the environment are either eliminated or reduced. The owners of PCB-containing transformers are enabled to meet the requirements emerging from the legislation, as well as to avoid larger expenses in case of treatment abroad. Considering the fact that the region is lacking the treatment facilities, Rade Concha could undertake a role of a regional center for PCB treatment. In that way, the economy could benefit with new employments and growth of domestic income.